Hello plant junkies, I'm glad you made it here today. We're going to plant a tomato. A lot of people don't know how to do this and I get a lot of questions about it. So there's our tomato, here's some soil, there's some more soil over there, and here are some pots. Now if you worked at my greenhouse and you dared to reuse a pot without sterilizing it first with bleach, you would so totally be out of a job. But we're not at my greenhouse and I'm not really that uptight. So, First thing we're going to do is throw some dirt in there. Oh no, look, the hole is falling out the hole. Alright, we're going to throw a big glob of dirt in there. Here we go, we're going to throw a big glob of dirt right in there. Alright, throw a little bit of potting soil in there. Kind of mix it into a glob. I've explained to a lot of customers how to plant a tomato, so you're not the only one who doesn't know. And I'm not going to tell anybody you watch the beginner video. Okay, I am going to tell some people, but you can lie about it, and that's good too. So the space between this leaf and this leaf, those are the nodes. And if your node is this long, your plant is what's called leggy. You don't need to be afraid of a leggy plant because tomato plants, anyway, root along the stem. Once it gets underneath the dirt, it's going to put out roots all the way along here. On most plants, they'll only put out roots where the, the underskin is exposed, and that would be at the nodes. Now you'll see here, this plant didn't get a whole lot of light because the node is long, but as we go up, uh, higher up, the distance between these leaves and the ones above them, right here, are only this far. So that's about maybe a half an inch. This one is about three inches. This one is probably two and a half inches. So at some point in the growing life, and then down here, we're going back to about two inches in the distance between the nodes. So um, sometime in this plant's growing life, it got some light. It was probably crowded, and then it got spread out a little more. It doesn't matter because for a tomato, you can plant half or three quarters of the stem and it will root all the way along the stem under the ground, give it a lot more roots, it's gonna grow a lot faster. Most plants won't do this. If you do it to a tree, of course, it would kill it. But tomatoes, you can. I've heard that you can plant as many as 80 or 90%. I'm uncomfortable with that, so I'm gonna stick at the 75% level. So this is how big the plant is. I'm gonna bury about this much of it. We had a few problems, a few technical difficulties. All of our stuff that we taped on that beautiful sunny day, most of it got wiped out. So we're starting again with a new tomato plant. I've kept these in the closet for a few days, trying to get them to stretch out leggy, but they didn't grow much, probably because of this little tiny pot they were in. One of the things you need to know about most plants is that the top growth is going to be roughly the same size as the root system. So if you have them in this tiny little container, they're not really gonna get very big. Once again, we're going to plant about three quarters of this. These leaves down here, we're going to pinch them off. In my bucket, I put compost and some mulch is mixed in there as well. Anybody who's had a flower pot root into the ground knows it doesn't really matter what's underneath. And we've done several experiments at the greenhouse and we've come to the conclusion that it really doesn't matter what's underneath. So on top of this gunk, I'm going to put some real potting soil, and that's what I'm going to bury my plant in. If your potting soil isn't moist, it kind of wicks the moisture away from the plant. So you want to kind of get it a little moist before you start. This is our tomato plant. You see the beautiful white roots? That's a sign of a healthy plant. Anytime you want to see if you have a healthy plant, pull out and see if the roots are white. Different plants, sometimes they'll have brown roots. Any roots that are black and come apart easily, that means the plant has deceased and you need to throw it into the compost pile. Can't count how many times I've disagreed with my mother about this, and then she took the plant home and it died. Because if your roots are black, your plant is dead. Dug a hole, put the tomato plant way down in there, some potting soil around it to stabilize it, and then we're gonna fill it up to here. And don't forget your chicken manure. There it is. All done. In about two months, we should have some killer tomatoes. Happy gardening.